see. And uh, I'm very glad to do it. So we welcome all of you. I'm sure uh, I didn't have the privilege of knowing Lucy, but uh, I'm sure you all did. And we'll hopefully give her a great honor this evening. Uh, we are using the um, prayer book from our Anglican Church, the alternative uh, book of alternative services. If you need more, there's still some books at the back there and uh, service outline for the hymns. We're singing all of Lucy's favorite hymns tonight. So let's stand and let's sing softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, which is a, a favorite of Lucy's. is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals, he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Come home, come home. You are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling. Calling all sinners, come home. Why should we tarry when Jesus is pleading? Meaning for you and for me. Why should we linger and heed not his mercy? Mercies for you and for me. Come home, come home. You resurrection and I am the light says the Lord whoever has faith in me shall have life even though he die and everyone who has life and is committed to me in faith shall not die forever let not your hearts be troubled believe in God believe also in me 
In my father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. I am sure that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And now let's read together Psalm 23, found on page 4. 572 and end it with on page seven, 573 the glory to the God glory to the Father okay let's say together the, the Lord, Lord is my shepherd, shepherd. I, I shall not be in want he makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters he guides my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now let's sing another hymn that's another favorite of Lucy. The Old Rugged Cross, and it's found in your pamphlet. Please stand. <laughs> On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross. The emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged Till my trophies at last I lay down, I will cling to the old rugged cross, and exchange it someday for a crown. Oh, that old rugged cross. So despised by the world as a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to wear it to the dark Calvary. So I cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. To your rugged cross, stained with blood so divine, our 
wondrous beauty I see. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to pardon and sanctify me. Oh, cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it someday for a crown to the old rugged cross, I will wear only true, its shame and reproach gladly bear. Then you'll call me someday to my home far away, where his glory forever so I cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it someday And then after that, Shannon will do the eulogy and then the tribute by Fred. Or anybody else that wants And anybody else. Yes. A reading from John chapter 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe in me also. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and welcome you into my presence, so that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Lord, said Thomas, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? And Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. All this I have spoken to you, while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all the things and will remind you of everything I have told you. Peace I leave, I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives, and do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. This is the word of the Lord. And Thanks to you, John. God. Thank everybody. today to remember a wonderful woman, Lucy Bean. Nan <sighs> uh, was loved by everyone who knew her. She was always kind, loving, and all very good. 
She loved her family. <clears throat> and without expectations, celebrations like birthdays and Christmas were her favorite. But she'd never turned down a game of cards. She's well known for years as a cook at Shallow Bay Motel. <clears throat> And you could usually get a good meal if you stop by our house. She loved cooking for people. I would usually take the opportunity on Sundays, you know, go get a couple, couple helpings of Jig's dinner, sometimes three. <laughs> <clears throat> she loved to knit and would spend hours at the end of the couch with her knitting needles and a ball of wool. And loved their family, especially the ones with paws. <clears throat> And we all loved her back. She accepted everyone as her own. <clears throat> and was always there when we needed her. She would hop for encouragement, a listening ear, or some good advice. She would always say to me, don't worry, everything will be okay. We'll all work out in the end. Saying to him will be missed is an understatement. Just the other day, my wife and I were reminded of her when the handle of the cover, <coughs> where the salt is was dirty, it was a true sign that there were potato cakes in the works. When that handle was dirty, I'm sure Hi. those memories will continue. I hope they do. We all love you, Nan, until we meet again. Thanks, guys. Sorry. <laughs> It is a razor that leads your soul to me. Some say love, it is a wonder, and endless it can be. I say love. It's all the sea. It's the heart afraid of breaking. That lover learns to dance. It's the dream afraid of waking. That never takes the chance. It's the one who won't be taken, who cannot seem to hear. And the soul afraid of dying. That never learns to be.
the same that Shannon said. <clears throat> I'm always uncomfortable speaking for groups of people, even those that I know and who know me. But this opportunity will never come again. And I would be remiss if I didn't take this off to speak here about those things. We got along well, maybe because we shared the same birthday, <laughs> maybe because we, was, we loved the same woman. She welcomed me from the first time she saw me. She was my second mom. To her family was everything. She never said a bad thing about anyone even to those who deserved it. She was the kindest, gentlest, most loving person I ever knew. Heaven needed another angel, so Jesus reached out his hand and took her home. Now she is watching over us and is reunited with all the loved ones who have gone before. She touched so many lives, it will never be forgotten by anyone who loved her or even knew her. Thank you so much, Shannon and Fred. Beautiful words. Obviously, a beautiful word. Thank you. We now continue with prayers. Please open your book to page 573. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God of all consolation, in your unending love and mercy, you turn the darkness of death into the dawn of new life. Show compassion to your, your people, people in their, their sorrow. Be our refuge and our strength, strength to lift us from the darkness of grief to the peace and light of our presence. Your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by dying for us, conquered death, and by rising again, restored life. May, May we then go forward eagerly to meet him, and after our life on earth, be reunited with our brothers and sisters, where every tear will be wiped away. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. God of grace and glory, we thank you for Lucy who was so near and dear to all who are here and who has been taken away from us. We thank you for the friendship she gave and for the strength and peace she brought. 
We thank you for the love she offered and received while she was here with us on earth. We pray that nothing good in this woman's life will be lost, but will be a benefit to the world, that all that was important to her will be respected by those who follow, and that everything in which she was great will continue to mean much to all now that she is gone. We ask that you may that she may grow, go on living in her children, her family, and her friends in their hearts and minds, in their courage and their consciences. We ask that those who were close to her may now, because of her death, be even closer to each other. And that they may, in peace and friendship here on earth, always be deeply conscious of your promise to be faithful in us, to us in death. We pray for all who are severely tested by this death, that they do not try to minimize this loss or seek refuge from it in words alone, and also that they do not brood over it so that it overwhelms them and isolates them from others. May God grant us courage and confidence in the new life of Christ. We ask this. In the name of the risen Lord, amen. On page 575. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And our last hymn is another favorite of Lucy's. <coughs> Jesus loves you. <laughs> it's on the last page. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to them belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven seeks to open wide. He will wash away my sin. When his little child comes, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me. He will stay. Close beside me all the way. If I love him when I die, he will take me home on high. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, 
Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Bye. Bye, Walker. <coughs> And the eternal God is your dwelling place, and underneath are the everlasting arms. Yeah. So before refreshments, there will be um, another um, song played. Uh, wind beneath my wings. I just want to thank you, Carolyn, for giving me the opportunity to do this. I'm really happy, and uh, it's just lovely to get to know. I'm sad that I didn't know her. You know, I might have known you. You look so pretty. I might have known her somewhere. Okay, thank you for this privilege. Thank you, Brenda.
Thank you. 